Hey guys, what's up? Elisha73 here today and today in this episode. Um, I am going to be drawing um, this actually. I've drawn this before. I did a pretty good job of it. Um, I drew it on like a small piece, like um, maybe like this big. It wasn't a sticky note, it was a notepad that I drew it on. Actually, I might do in another episode like a little flip book. But um, yeah, so today I'm going to be drawing my little frog. Let's just get right into the video. Here we go guys so i've got everything right now um because i've got everything i've got this right here got all my supplies um i got this glue right here um just so i can make it stand up i want to zoom this in a little more though actually i'll just scooch this over okay guys so now that i've got everything including the frog i'm gonna draw um so let me just move all this stuff to the side so you guys can see this is what i'm gonna be drawing right here um, at the end, I'll show you a side-to-side -side comparison of this and the drawings. Okay, so in this episode, I first, first I had to prop up the frog so I can see it. Then I start drawing the frog's head. I draw the frog's head, and then I start on the eyes. After I think the head it looks good. So I draw the eyes, and then I, I, I draw it too small. So I redid it, and I got that one good. So then I drew the other eye, and I drew that one way too small. So I erased it. And then I drew it over again. And then I start, um, then I start working on the head because I messed up on the head. Here I zoom in because I couldn't really, you guys really couldn't see the, um, the drawing too much. Okay, now I start on the eyeballs. I draw the eyeballs and I just have to make sure to make them look good. So after I fill them in, I think it looks pretty good. Now on the other eyeball, I messed up a little bit because I was trying to make it a circle, but then I messed up. But I think it looked good at the end. Then I start working on the head more because it wasn't round enough. Okay, then I do the mouth. The mouth I kept messing up on because it was hard to do. So then after I thought I got it good, I started erasing the middle part so I could redraw it. Okay, here I, I um erase the eyeball and then I draw it again. Okay, now I start working on the arms. When I work on the arms, I have to make sure that I get everything good. So I had to make sure the arm was turned just like just like the frog. It started to look weird, so I started going my own way. After I thought the arms looked pretty good, I started to um, draw the left leg. Messed up a couple times on the left leg. But then I finally got it good. Okay, at this part, I start trying to make it fluffy. I redraw everything to make it look fluffy. Because the fluffier, the more it looks like a... A stuffed animal. Okay, so now I'm almost done with the left arm. Now I start fluffing up the right arm. When I was doing the right arm, I realized I messed up because I need to draw the right leg still. So I drew the right leg. The right leg was a little bit bigger than the left one, so I had to try and get it good. It looked really bad, so I redid it. After I thought it looked good, I, I sharpened another pencil because I was going to use that for shading, but the sharpener did not work. 
neither of them did. So I just started using my normal pencil. Okay, when I was finished with the figure, I said I still need to shade. So I started shading with my normal pencil, my mechanical pencil, because the other pencils won't sharpen. The shading was kind of hard because I had to get it um, to where it looked like there was indents around the mouth. Since it was so hard, I just gave up on the mouth and just drew shading around the face. After I drew the shading on the head, I started shading the eyes. Once I started on the eyes, I had to make sure that I didn't get outside the lines, because if I got outside the lines, I'd have to erase everything. So I started shading the right eye. Then I realized, what should I do for the parts that aren't really fluffy and more clothy? So then I got my mini pencil ready, um, now it's on the side, you just can't really see it. So when I start shading the cloth parts, you'll see me grab out my mini pencil. Okay, after I thought the left arm looked good, I had to start on the left leg. Right now I'm fixing tweaks here and there. And I'm making it look more furry by adding random lines everywhere. That part I switched to my mini pencil. And I had to add the shading, shaded parts where there were shadows. My head gone the way a little bit there. Then I started shading the arm with my mechanical pencil again to make it furry. The part was kind of hard because it had so many turns. Right here, after I shaded the leg, I had to make sure all the shadows were perfect wherever there was shadows. I grabbed the mini pencil again to represent that it was cloth and not that furry. Then I started shading this leg. I had to make it really bright because the light was shining on that leg the most. Then I shade the clothy part. Realized I did it wrong, so I had to redo it. I had known the outside looked really bad, and I really wanted to fix it before. Now I'm finished with the drawing, so I grab the frog and show you represent. First, I show you what I used. I show you guys that the sharpener sucks, so I couldn't use those. So I show you the supplies I used, only those three, that's all I used. Then I show you the representation, side to side. Okay, guys, so I really hope you guys liked that video of me drawing my toy. So I'm going to sign it real fast, and I will see you all later. Goodbye! <laughs>